number of cities outside of Wellington and, and particularly in Australia, um, venues work for themselves first and, and, and to, almost to hell with anyone else. But what we try and pride ourselves on is in, from a Wellington perspective is working together. First instance, we're working for Wellington and then we work to fill the venue in the second instance. By default, in many respects, we are first port of call mm -hmm. for the larger events that are staged in Wellington. Mm -hmm. And then there is um, there's that two to four hundred bracket. There's a number of competitors around that. So mm -hmm. there's the Duxton, mm -hmm. there's the Holiday Inn, um, mm -hmm. and so on. And then down below that again, there's a whole range of other smaller providers, including solicitors, I might add, mm -hmm. who um, have converted offices and. Um, into meeting rooms. The reality is New Zealand does need a large convention centre. Mm. The reality also is that it won't be in Wellington. Mm. Our, our terrain mm. kind of constrains the level of the work that we do. Yeah. Um, yes, we do need additional facilities. Mm. We are driven in that view by our customers mm. and our customers are saying to us, look, we'd love to bring this event to you. Mm but you just haven't got the space for us. Yeah. But, but we compete well because we're um, the capital city, it's part of our nationhood, mm -hmm. we have to Papa here, mm -hmm. um, we are compact, and that in itself has its own uniqueness. Mm -hmm. um, we're safe, and interestingly enough, the more Australians that we get here, then they love it, mm -hmm. and they can't understand why they haven't been here before. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I guess we are a hidden secret. Mm. Uh, and, and it's our job, it's, our, it's the job of those of us in the convention business mm. um, and those of us in the tourism business to actually share the secret.